Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This will be a three card spread for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Having a look to see how your special person might be feeling about you and your current love situation. Now this could be an ex-lover, this could be someone you're no longer in contact with, this could be someone you're trying to attract, trying to date, this could be someone you've had a short-term thing, you're currently involved with them romantically already, you might even be married. Um, and you're wanting to see how they might be feeling about you currently. Hopefully there is something insightful for you here, some sort of valuable information that'll give you some clarity, Sag. Thank you again for all your likes, shares, subscribes. Let's jump into it and see what three cards come up for you, Sagittarius, in regards to how this person might be feeling about you. The Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, very powerful cards here. Let's start off with the Nine of Cups. Now, this is seen as the Wish card, the Dream card, and the Wish Manifestation card here. Um, this is when all our wishes, dreams, fantasies come true. Uh, this is a very beautiful card because it indicates someone here is, they feel like their wishes are being fulfilled by you, okay? Maybe they've asked the universe, you know, they've prayed, um, they've imagined someone like you to come into their life and this is finally happening and it's leaving this person in a very blissful state here with that Nine of Cups energy. It can point to a water sign here, so for those dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, emotionally they feel like their wishes are being fulfilled by what it is that you have um, together. It can also be someone who's wishing to be with you or wishing to be in contact with you. Uh, the nine is a number of fulfillment and completion. Now, it could be someone that's wishing to fulfill something with you, a relationship, um, fulfill an oath, something here that they've promised to give you, something here that they believe um, they need to deliver to you or they need to give to you. So there's, there's, wish, there's wishing and wanting connected here for some of you Sagittarians. Uh, someone here is wishing for something or they want things to align, or they feel like things are slowly aligning. All the cups are presented so eloquently, so neatly behind this figure here. So it could be someone trying to realign, okay? Someone wanting or wishing to realign. Or someone who feels very comfortable at where you're sitting up romantically with them. Okay, they like the way things are going. They don't want to change anything. Uh, it's 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 a very beautiful surprise. They they're getting a lot of what they've wanted, uh, and I feel in in a lot of ways emotionally they're encountering a lot of blissful energy. For others, there's a different situation here because the Page of Swords has come up, and this could be an air sign in particular, a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Now the Page of Swords breeds uncertainty, hesitation, lack of confidence, insecurity. And a lot of thoughts swarming around, almost swarming around like these birds that travel in a group behind this figure here. Now, it can be any sign that you're dealing with. It can point to, if it's not an, earth, an air sign, sorry, it can point to someone feeling mentally clouded or they're not sure how to move forward in a situation. If you look at the card alone, the Page of Swords looks to the past. He wants to move forward, but he's looking to the past. Now, there could be someone here that can't forget what happened. Maybe they can forgive but not forget. Maybe they could try to forget but not forgive. Uh, so in one way, there's a bit of hesitation or something to do with communication. Okay, This person hasn't really thought about or can't really decide where they're at at the moment, Sag, where they're feeling, where they ought to be. And maybe there's something that's happened Maybe you've had a heavy past with this person, maybe something substantial, uh, life-altering, life-changing, relationship-changing has occurred or will occur during this time, which would make sense as to why this person might be feeling in the sort of Page of Swords energy. As a story, though, the Page of Swords looks to the Nine of Cups, uh, and he's not very hopeful. He has a wish out there, but he's not very hopeful about something happening or something coming true. 
There might be someone putting out a wish, wishing for you, wishing for you to reach out, wishing for you to be different, wishing for you to finally accept them for who they are, uh, wishing for you to be at the same stage of the relationship where they are, wishing that you would want the same thing as them. Okay, it can be anything that they're wishing for around you, around the relationship, around their feelings, but they're not very hopeful that it's going to come true or they're not very hopeful that that can come to fruition. They're in doubt. Page of Swords is doubt. Maybe someone is even trying to deny or doubt their own feelings. Maybe they're doubtful that they know how you feel. They're doubtful that you could feel the same way. And this would stem from a place of insecurity, of lack of confidence internally, that they're lovable. So they may be battling even with mental issues, things like anxiety, uh, insecurity, uh, relationship trauma. There could be things, and, and we all have that on some level, uh, unless we're very healthily, have a secure attachment style and even if we do there's there's bound to be periods where we don't feel as confident about ourselves or about the love we can offer to someone or if they'll they'll be accepting of us and that love so that might be what someone is feeling uh, but then you've got a wonderful uh, major arcana card the wheel of fortune this is about destiny and fate and divine timing it almost resembles a clock here so there might be someone here who feels it's time to connect, time to reconnect, time to move on, time to have the next phase or address the next milestone of your relationship, or that you've come into their life at a very divine time, okay? Uh, divine timing, divine intervention. Uh, something about a cycle here as well. Someone feels like they're on a very powerful cycle here with you, Sagittarius. They feel very, very drawn to you. Um, and can also be that someone feels things are improving, okay? And the reason I say that is because the devil is left behind here, that devil-like figure that brings, uh, you know, fear and judgment and a toxic energy, and then things come full circle and prevail to the mighty, powerful sphinx. So it could be someone that feels like things are improving, okay? Uh, if you've had a bit of a tough time lately, uh, if you haven't been connecting as, as much as you'd like to or as closely as you'd like to it might be that someone feels like at least in their eyes through their standpoint through their perception that things are increasing or getting better mentally emotionally physically sexually uh, spiritually it could be that things are set into motion here but it's also cycles now whether this is the completion of a cycle or entering a new cycle um, someone might want to i don't think it's an ending though um, so I don't feel like someone necessarily wants to end things with you, but they could be hesitant about a cycle. Maybe they're wishing for another chance and whether that's likely or not, of course, depends on the both of you and where you're at and how you can come together and what it is that separated you in the first place. Uh, or maybe they just want to restart. Maybe they want a new phase with you, uh, but that's what that wheel of fortune can represent. They could also be set in their ways in some way. Four is a number of concreteness, and you can see these four figures, the four cherubims, the four angels, the four corners, four gospels that have come up here. And it could very much point to someone feeling like things aren't going to change, like they're very set in stone, they're very concrete. They're not confident things can change, things can improve. Or maybe they're highly confident that things can change and things can improve. Maybe for the most part, this is only minor. And the two very powerful cards that have come up here is that this person truly believes that a part of you is very significant. You've come in for a purpose. You're fulfilling a lot of their wishes. And the Page of Swords is almost feeling vulnerable because such a powerful presence, you, that is you, Sag, such a powerful presence of adventure, of love, of um, openness, of possibility has come into their life. And maybe they don't know how to deal with it. Maybe they, they don't know how to... Think about it or they don't know how to deal with this connection or they don't know how to see you uh, because they're just so overwhelmed by, by powerful beautiful energies of abundance and divine intervention and wish fulfillment so that's absolutely fantastic i will leave your reading at that however so thank you again for tuning in